So you were first at Stratford in 1956? No, in 1956, that's right, that's right. In Henry V? Yes. In the tent? Yes, the, the last year of the tent. What was it like? Oh boy, it was ambiguous. Because when I came to Stratford, the first night I spent, I cried because I felt so far away from home. I was in a little room all by myself and I felt I'd been completely isolated. So that was my first reaction. And uh, moreover, it was raining cats and dogs outside. But when I started working, and of course the, the, the other friends came, I started taking pleasure in it. And uh, the, the director was Michael Langham. He had a clown in, it, in itself. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it was, it was um, fun to work with him. And it was fun to work with, with our English speaking uh, uh, friends, uh, camarades. And you played, who did you play? The in, Dauphin? In, the first, in the first production, I played the, the French ambassador and, um, oh boy, the, the, mm, well, the, 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 the name will come later. And uh, did you play in French? No. 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 In English. In English, of course, yes. And were there any sections of the play in French? Because I think I saw the Henry V in the 60s, and there was some French, was there not? Well, at the end, uh, when, when Henry comes to the French court to marry uh, Kate, Cathy, uh, th there are some French lines. But in, in the, the scenes of the French army, I don't rem maybe maybe we would have some French lines between us uh, out of the actual uh, text written by Shakespeare, but there were no, no uh, uh, French-speaking uh, scenes. And so what was it like? Uh, Christopher Plummer was there, Michael yeah. Langham was there, uh, Leo Trichichiri was yes. there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who else was there as you're surrounded by these uh, Canadian Ken Welch. English? Ken Welch was there. Uh, oh boy, and um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Bill Hutt was there. Uh, William Needle was there. Uh, all all, all the, the, the people who became big names, not only in Stratford, but uh, outside of Stratford, and some of them in the United States as well. And uh, with a few exceptions, the relationship was so cordial that it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. We, we, uh, we had fun to meet one each other, to uh, speak of everything, and not only working, but meeting outside of, of the stage, having drinks together. At that time, probably a little too much. But uh, it, 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 was, it was great, really, really great. And the tent? Oh boy, sometimes it was cold and sometimes it's, it was terribly hot. <laughs> but yes, I loved it. I loved it because it, it was living. I don't say that uh, the theater is, is not a living place. It is. But the tent had its own life. It responded to weather. Uh, it was raining, we heard the rain falling, mm -hmm. falling on, on the roof. Uh, there was some wind, the tent was moving a little with the wind. So it, it was really great.